Good day, good day, happy four to all you Americans. Hello, hello, happy to see you here. What's going on? Hello, peoples. I just started cutting the uh, background fabric for this beautiful project. If you would like to partake, seems a little, oops, sorry, I'm covering the Sophie cam and Sophie's not even in there. Ah, where is she? Come here, Sophie. We were just outside. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, thank you, Miss Kelly. Happy Canada Day to you too. You coming? Sophie, come on. Come on. The peeps want ya. <laughs> come in the chair. Come on, hang on the chair. There you go. There you go. Indeed, yeah. So this is uh, actually, you could use a jelly roll to be able to do the, um, some of the strip parts of this because they're two and a half inch strips so you need like uh, 40 of two and a half by five and you know 11 uh, strips of with the fabric so on and so forth so I do I did have actually thanks to jo the beautiful bag of goodies from Joe Marie uh, a nice light um, background so it's it's got little tiny I don't know feathers on it or leaves or something but they're really really, really, really tiny What's everybody doing today? Are we partying? There's Miss Sophie Lofi, indeed. She's such a good girl. We were just outside. Munchkin was just heading down to the store. Um, Cause I, I really want spaghetti tonight for dinner. I want spaghetti and we have no spaghetti noodle. We have no ground beef and no, and no garlic. Yeah, she does look comfy, doesn't she? <laughs> She's a good girl. She's a very good girl. Um, so I guess, do, 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 do. I, that's four strips. It's your birthday, well, happy birthday, Pat. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Pat, happy birthday to you. Mm-hmm, hope you have a fantastic day. It was my sister Lisa's birthday yesterday, and I tried to phone her and leave her like, oh, had this birthday song all made up, mine, just ready to leave a message for her, and her voice, voice box is full. I'm like, oh, boop, popped my bubble. <laughs> it did not go well. <laughs> I wanted to. She just wouldn't let me. <laughs> hello, 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 everybody. What's going on? Yeah, exclamation spool if you would like this free pattern or to follow along. It's not overly huge. It's only uh, 41 by 50, but you could certainly add more rows or make it only four, make a pillow. I mean, it's completely up to you. So I'm not sure why the link is, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, what is, the link was just slow. Or I was too fast. So yes, mm -hmm. happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Hope you have a fantastic day. Hello Dawn, I fell on Sunday, oh no. Oh my, oh my gosh, Donna Faye, you are falling apart, girl. You better get that crazy glue out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, free pattern. It's by Cloud9, Cloud9 Fabrics. The, hold on, design is Michelle Engelbensko. I'm sorry with last names. Uh, and technical editor was Linda Sparadon. And it's from 2013, so like seven years ago. So cloud9fabrics.com. So yeah, free pattern. And it's called Retro Spools Quilts, but I'm doing it obviously different because that's just whose I am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello everybody. Yeah, I feel better. All right, so here's, let's do our, let's do a couple of the widths of fabrics. Get those out of the way. And then we'll start cutting, cutting uh, some of our background stuff here. Thank you very much. Because I'm sure not everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> this is Pops, I stole it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Chris. They were fun. Yeah, they were hanging up over there. Well, I used to always get asked for, for people to make me some <laughs> or make them some. <laughs> Oh yes, we're using the new mic system today, so hopefully it is A-OK. -okay. Uh, I've clipped it to the inside of my shirt, not knowing if you might pick up my heartbeat. <laughs> no, OK, I wasn't sure, because <laughs> it's like sitting right there. Depends if I get excited. 
You crocheted that pattern? Uh, da, 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 da. It does sound very good. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Allison. I should hope so for the amount we paid for it. <laughs> um, the, the fabrics on the original pattern are awesome. I love the scissors that are used as a spool. I'm using the same fabric as my spool. It's going to be this lovely wood green fabric. And then my colored threads are going to be like these colors here. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming out loud and clear. Excellent. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Love the seahorse. Oh, thank you very much, Catherine. I made that for Pop. It's, there is a, a live stream on it. We put it together. Hello, Miss Joellen. What's going on today? So one page pattern. I love one page patterns. There's not much you can really mess up on that one. Well, you know, give me a chance. I'm sure you can. Um, and it's got like you can have fat quarters so if you want to bust your stash or you know what size pieces you're going to need. You could, because it's saying, you know, you can have uh, like eight pieces of uh, five times so and it's to make all your spools, but you can mix and match as much as you like. So, uh, so I may not use all these fabrics, but I, I did pull them and I thought they would look nice together with the wood in between and the neutral background. Uh, hello, Niku. How goes it? Mm hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, and then, uh, like I say, really easy. So, um, so you need 20 total squares of five and a half by five and a half. That's going to be your threads, the thread color or the thread that color that you want on your spool. And then you need your strips of um, nine, two and a half by nine and a half. And that's for your spoolie part. Okay, so I'm going to cut them all out of the same fabric here. And then there's sashing in between the rows, which would be your background fabric, right? Yes, it matches. So you'd have to make sure you're cutting that out of your background fabric. And then also you'll need to um, cut 11 strips with the fabric, which is subcut into, sorry, the 40 pieces and the 80 pieces. And then the, the borders, which is five strips of two and a half. So and we should be able to do that just fine. It doesn't seem too complicated to come together. So place two, one, two and a half inch squares right sides together on the ends of the two and a half by nine and a half strips. So diagonal lines, trim excess, open and press. Well, there we go. More HSTs, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it is clear pineapple is evil. <laughs> I'm not getting involved. <laughs> I'm not getting involved. It was a uh, really nice I video chatted with um, uh, Lois yesterday and she had Hootie all hanging up on her studio wall, the owl that uh, she won via silent auction. So yeah, it was it was really awesome to, to see that. So, anyways, I'm just gonna have some water and then I'm gonna stand and finish cutting all my stuff. Christmas present for her, oh lovely, oh, lovely, lovely. All right, make sure it got lined up over two and a half. Mm, got plenty of time. Brand new blade, brand new blade, nice and smooth on the cutting. You forget sometimes how dull your blades get because you're just using them and using them and using them. And then when you put a new one on, you're like, holy jeebies, bad man. That just cut like a hot knife through butter. You're like, why have I been struggling all along? Okay, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, need a few more, eight. Here's nine. Here's 10 and then 11. Okay, and there we go. That's our sub, the, then we'll have to cut those. Let's move those off to the side. We'll have to cut those into the 40 pieces of two and a half by five and a half and the 80 pieces of two and a half by two and a half. Okay. So we can cut a couple um, layers at a time. I'd say maybe three would be okay. And of course you can line them up more if you like that. Don't want to cut too much of one and not have enough to cut of the other. So let's do the big ones first because we can always, uh, I'll use my smaller ruler. Oops. 
So what else is everybody having for dinner tonight? Because like I said, I am craving spaghetti, homemade spaghetti, spaghetti sauce. Well, not homemade spaghetti, but we will have a, you know, we'll do a pasta thingy one night or, or one stream, make a pasta. So there's a two, four, six. So if I'm getting six per cut, make sure I'm on my lines. Everything's lined up nice and straight. Measure twice, cut once. Mom makes pretzel sticks dipped in melted chocolate. Oh, oh, grumble the bacon. Oh, geez, I'm all over that, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. Hot dogs for the fourth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent stitch it. Wonderful. Happy fourth to you. Barbecue. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Maui ribs, sticky rice, and salad. Oh, that does. I'm coming over. Uh, we're having fish and chips delivered in about 20 minutes. That is lovely, Marion. That is lovely. Pineapple pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I am late daughter FaceTimed me for a change. Very nice, Pat. I'm glad she called you. Very nice. Very nice. And you're you're just in time. We were waiting for you anyways. Just made beef stroganoff. Oh, I love beef stroganoff. That's some good stuff. Uh, I don't know because I'm a teenager. Mm, you don't know what's happened happen for dinner? <laughs> Haven't had fish and chips in ages. I haven't had good fish and chips in ages. In fact, I know exactly when it was. It was like in 2004 in the little village of Hitchin. <laughs> Way over in the UK. <laughs> that was the last time I had good fish and chips. <laughs> they, they just do it right over there, just not saying. It was our, our, our Friday thing for the almost the three years we lived there. I'd either, depending on whether Pop um, was working from home or not, I'd ride my, my bike down, or if he had the day off, he, we'd ride our bikes together, or we'd, he'd work from home and we'd still take the lunch hour to go ride the bikes, grab some fish and chips, and come home. It's good times, man, good times. Making a sandwich? Wonderful. What kind of sandwich? What kind of sandwich? All right, so this is on the fold of the fabric, so I'm just going to give that a press first before I cut another couple of, or three, uh, two and a halfers out of that. So. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Kelly's got a good fish and chip, yeah? Well, I'd give anybody a try. We, and we have, we've given a few places here a try, but. Uh, did you have scraps with your fish and chips? No, what was that? Was that all the little bits and bobs that uh, sit around in the fat fryer? Mm -hmm. Oh, I said I was gonna do the big ones first and start cutting the small ones. Oh my gosh, what a fart head. Okay, all right, pay attention, little one. Do the big ones now. You got some of one, now you need some of the other and then you can start working. Pretty one. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to trying it, Kelly. Looking forward to trying it. I mean, we've had some okay ones, and even when we were in um, Prince Edward Island, nothing against Prince Edward, Edward Island. Just saying, there was, uh, you know, it, it was good. I mean, it wasn't the best, but. Uh, my baby son is going to propose to his girl tomorrow. I am so excited. It's a secret, but I know y'all keep a secret. No, we won't. What's the number? I'm calling. Tell her to say yes. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. The bits and batter dropped off the fish. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought that's what it was. I'm like, I remember it being being there. And we usually, there was a, an elderly gentleman who would order like a, a chip sandwich all the time because that's all he could afford. So when we go to buy our fish and chips, I'd say to the guy behind the counter, go give him a piece too, please. Or like, I'll buy him a piece. So usually every Friday, that guy got a piece of fish out of me. <laughs> He's out, he'd always say something to me, but I could never understand because he had like barely any teeth. So <laughs> he was cute. <laughs> he seemed polite. <laughs> What's going on? You want to come say hi, Munchkin? I don't want the loaf bread. <laughs> Hello, everybody. What's going I on? just got back from the store. <laughs> yeah, you're sweaty. 
It's warm it's out. It's hot out. <laughs> it is hot out. <laughs> I got garlic bread. <laughs> to go with the spaghetti. <laughs> Yeah, we will make do, that's for sure. I was trying not to turn on the oven. So, everybody saying hi, Munchkin. Hello, Tiffany. Happy you're here. Did you already say what we're having? Yes, I did. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Uh, that's just the, well, you could have just, there we go. <laughs> He's addling my brain. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Uh, so these need to be two and a half by five and a half. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five and a half. Make sure I'm all lined up here and that does not look straight. <coughs> hey, Pop Junior. <laughs> hey, hey, Pop Junior. Pop, pop, Pop Junior. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that'll do. Just tomato? Yeah, it's uh, strange tomatoes. Oh, well, that'll do. Yeah, Got, we, we season it ourselves, so. One, two, three, four, five. And a half. Well, thank you. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll start it right after the string. Three, four, five. And a half. And then this we can. Yeah, one, two, three, four. No, it's not quite big enough. That's his high munchkin. Gwen says hi, Munchkin. Everybody says hi, Munchkin. I know. He he will not wear shorts, and he will. He's worn turtlenecks in the middle of summer. He's confused. What is that? Frozen fruit. Oh, okay. You told me to get frozen fruit. Pops. <laughs> the word pops was not there. Uh, okay. I believe you. That's fine. We can we can make our own smoothies. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. Show show off the frozen fruit. <laughs> yeah. Frozen fruit. Uh, <laughs> to make frozen drinks. <laughs> very good for making smoothies. Apparently it's party night here at the Fulvers. Actually, it was last night. We were listening to some, mm -hmm. Pop was playing some game that had some like disco music. We were all like, woo, woo. <laughs> the game's called uh, Beat Hazard 2. If you are prone to epilepsy, do not play it. No. <laughs> there was times I had to turn away. That game is a living epilepsy. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty intense in a few spots. I was like, okay, I can't watch anymore. <laughs> we were all beating along to the music, though. <laughs> We're having fun. It's all the matter. Where's the chocolate? I don't know. Gwenny says, where's the chocolate? Chocolate wasn't on the list. Chocolate was not on the list. Nope. Nopity nope nopes. All right. So that's that's some of our backgrounds to go on the sides of our spool, uh, our, our thread color, and the tops of our spools. So let's get our spool fabric cut. We'll just put these off to the side because I know I still need to cut more, but I, I want to make sure I'm cutting of the right number of which. But I now I know they're spoken for, so it's okay. Sophie's biting her tail. No, her leg. Her leg. She must have got a bug bite. Okay, put that there. And we'll put this fold this here. Margarita night. Woohoo! Diane 57's in. What kind would you like? Well, actually, it's all mixed fruit, isn't it? Uh, there's raspberries, strawberries, and then mixed berries. Oh, okay. Well, what kind would you like, honey? I'll, I was doing uh... frozen fruit, so I picked stuff I like. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it said pops. Frozen fruit pops. I, I, will, I will double check. Okay, right it's now. not a big deal. We'll make do. I just wanted something frozen and fruity, so. Frozen fruit, and then the next line it says pop question mark. So I was like, does she want me to pick up more like ginger ale? And... No. <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, now I need a straight edge. You can see how like it's confusing. Okay, right? okay, no worries, dude. Chill, <laughs> chill, chill, man, chill. Strawberry raspberry margarita, says Diane, 57. All right. It's okay. <laughs> uh, you're Munchkin's beard. What was that? Sorry, I missed. What's something about Munchkin's beard? Her, uh, 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 who, who's jealous? <laughs> Somebody's jealous of my beard. Some dwarfs? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, Norbell. What's going on? 
just hanging out here today. We're starting a new project. Explana explanation. Exclamation. Spool. We'll get you there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock somewhere. And it's afternoon here, so it's all good. <laughs> um, okay, so I need two and a half by nine and a half, and that's for the spool. So two and a half. So another still, another friendly fat quarter, or not fat quarter, um, jelly roll friendly. If you happen to get like a set of stuff, light colored tones would be nice for the spools. I don't, I, you know, because I wanted it to look like wood, right? That was the whole point of the old fashioned spools was wood. So let's cut a couple of these. Did you happen to figure out the ice situation there yesterday, buddy, or no? No, I did not. Okay. I will figure it out. Okay. Mm. Only drink before noon when I go camping. <laughs> yeah, when Caesars are fine with break, egg, bacon and eggs in the morning. <laughs> you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As much you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to cut off what we don't need. Because we need nine and a half. Are you hot? Oh, you're panting. I was hoping she wasn't going to get too hot outside, but I guess she did. That was not a straight cut there, little one. What a dork. All right, there we go. Third time's charm. I, I can't actually have Caesars anymore. I got a little too much. And I can't even smell them. And it's been years. I still can't smell a Caesar without feeling ill. That was the, the night I came drunk weevil wobbling down the hill with my girlfriend. And she didn't even cross the street with me. She just let me run on my own. <laughs> That's what happens when you go to a birthday party and then people start, you know, passing the shots around. And it was like, yeah, that was too many. And I didn't want to feel like a party pooper. You know. <laughs> didn't 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 help me at all. Uh, nine and a half. So that's six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half. Okay, and those should be our spools. And then we're gonna take our two and a halfers and put them there. And then we're gonna sew on the ankle. Oh, it's gonna look so pretty. It's gonna look so pretty. I've been saving this fabric for some, you know, for some woody type projects, right? So. And I'm not talking the guy from Toy Story. You know, stuff that was supposed to look like wood. I thought when I did my chicken stuff, um, that uh, that I'd use it for that. But I still have some more, so I don't think it's going to take up of all of it for this project. So, all right. So that is six, seven, eight, nine, and then another half. Firm pressure right in the center. Confirming one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and a half. All right, we can get started with that. Those little bits there. I know we won't finish it today, but it'll be a nice good start. We can take these guys and put them into the scrappy pile because that's a good chunk. What's that? Five incher. That's a good five inches. Okay, that's, uh, we'll just flop that off there. Now we need some five and a half by five and a half of our feature fabrics. They're feature fabrics, people. This is, I think, is the last that's left over from Auntie Julie's uh, purple Learn Lone Star quilt. And it's like a purpley gray. Oh no, that was her bag. I did her bag in that. That's right. That's a little wrinkled up there. I'm thinking I'd probably get two out of here of this color. I think it was one of my very first times working with batiks. 
and especially on the long arm because it behaves differently uh, when quilted, right? So. Uh, hi, I hope you're all okay. I hope you're fine. We're, we're good here. We're good, all good and good. We've had a few outbreaks uh, um, in Canada and they're, you know, they, lots of provinces are open up to each other, but they're not necessarily opening up to Ontario. <laughs> so apparently nobody in the um, New Brunswick, PEI, Nova Scotia, and Newfoundland want anybody from Ontario traveling that way. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. So we've had we've had had quite a quite a couple of outbursts, uh, outbreaks, I guess. But we are safe in our little bubble, and we do everything we can. Now this is not a huge, huge quilt, but you could certainly uh, bulk it out. It's pretty much just a wall hanging or a lap quilt um, or something to flop over on the couch or just hang up in your studio or in your room or two, three, four, five and a half. All right. Purple scrap pile. And I got enough to make another one if I want. Uh, after last week, I bought some 10 inch squares. Now what to make? Oh, well you got lots of options there, Sarah Jean. Hold on, I gotta sweep here. I don't wanna roll over my fabrics with my, my wheelies. Okay. Yeah, exactly, what colors? What colors you got going on? This is some of the fabric left over from my uh, farm, farmer's quilt. That turned out amazing. If you guys didn't get a chance to see it in the beginning of last week's uh, live stream, I can probably show you in a little bit here if you would like to see the tractor quilt. Three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> That's how pop appliques. <laughs> oh, ring the middle, you had to unpick. Oh no. Oh no. I hope you were singing the song. Seam ripper, seam ripper, you're my best friend. Three, four, five. Okay. We can make, make another one out of that too, if we so choose. Cute. You missed the tractor? Okay, I will, I'll show it, I'll show it. Let me cut some of these first and then I'll show it. And then it's all done now. It's all done, bound and in the bag, ready to go. So it's just waiting for her to pick it up. She's uh, doing hay uh, for, for this week and next week. And then she said she'd contact me after that. I'm like, okay. She's the one who raises the sheep, and you know, she's a farm girl. Hey, and then. Oh, now remember, these are five and a half by five and a half, and you can bust your stash. You can. I was gonna say you can't use a charm pack because that's five, um, but you can certainly be busting your stash or use the uh, fat quarters they were suggesting. One, two, three, four, five and a half. I'm just kind of making two colors of each at the moment and then I can always fill in with other colors if I feel it needs a balance. Mode of batik layer cakes, they're all colors. Oh, batik layer cake. That would be pretty. Oh, what to make, what to make. Mm. Well, there's a lot, there's, and, they, and they show you options on the back of your uh, layer cake too, of what you can do. Three, four, five and a half. So that might be something you might wanna consider as well. Hello Ann, what's going on? How's the Channel Islands today? A little bit of squares are there. Wasn't quite as squaresies. Oops. 
right. We'll try and start off with as square as possible. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, was, I wasn't sure if I just didn't see her in the chat there, Allison. I was thinking the same thing. I wonder where Miss Helly is. Hope for, yeah, exactly. I hope she's okay. Pretty colors. It's wet. <laughs> the Channel Islands are wet, Laurelyn. <laughs> I, I was hoping they would be kind of pleasant colors together. You know, making little spools of pretty little mauves and pinks and a couple of purples. Uh, Pop LL is fuzzy on my eyes. Sorry to be a bother. Use the um, clog in the bottom corner to, yes, bottom corner to change it. You can change that yourself. We're, we're, we're coming in just fine, but you, you can change your uh, options on your own uh, display. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're streaming at what, 1080? So we should not be fuzzy or pixelated at all. <laughs> Fuzzy, a lot of fuzzy in the wuzzy. All right, let's cut this one and then I'll go get that quilt. Okay, and this gives us a few to start with at least. One, two, three, four, five. Because I'm not going to put them all together until I'm ready to put it all together. Okay. Crisp and clear, okay. Yeah, it, it, it must have been just something changed on our settings. They, it, it does change itself. I've noticed that on mine. And I've even said something while I've been streaming. I'm like, oh, wow, all of a sudden I just went pixelated. That's a little crazy. All right, hold on. Let me go grab that farmer quilt. Okay. Do, do, do. Do, do. Get the bag. <clears throat> Bring it over. Like hold that up the right way. Let me flip it out here. Oh, it is the right way. Okay. Oh, wasn't sure. Yes, you. No, I wasn't sure if you had to go potty or you were heading into the kitchen. Come a little bit this way, honey. So, yeah, there we go. You can see your side. And then we'll fold it in half and then show the bottom. Yeah, about there. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Custom made. <laughs> she loves it too. She said it's so beautiful. I'm like, yes, that's what I like to hear. Because all she did was send me a message say, hey, can you make me a tractor quilt? I'm like, yeah. And then of course she wanted the red buffalo plaid for the back. And then like I say, you can just see the meander and how it kind of go, you might be able to see how it goes just around the tractors. Might not be able to see it, but. Thanks honey, appreciate that. Goes at the bag at the door or just pop it there and I'll deal with it after. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I gonna do? I think I want Thank you. Oh, thank you everybody. I love it. Thank, I, I, I really like it. And like I did, I made a, um, I bought the fabrics because she kind of gave me some ideas of what color she was looking for. So I, when I purchased the fact, of course the stores were all closed. So I made a list on a shopping list, like for the, where I was, took pictures of it and said, is there anything you don't like in this stack? And she said, no, I like it all. Actually, no, I think she changed one to uh, one, one color. And uh, she goes, oh, I didn't like that one. It was, um, I don't know what it was, but she didn't like it. Too orange. I think it was too orange. So uh, thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Um, and then when I had the fabric home, I made up two tractors and two stars. And I thought even if she didn't like it, it would make a lovely wall hanging. You know what I mean? Like 
just so she can kind of see where I was going and if I was on the right track. Because uh, she didn't like the complicated blocks that was um, in between the tractor pictures, like the one that she had sent me. She goes, I want something a little bit more simple. So I thought, you know, just that starry burst sort of thing was really quite pretty. And it plays on with the whole farm life because you're out there till, you know, from sun up to sundown and you get to, you know, catch the stars, right? So. Love it. <laughs> awesome. Is that the same one from last day? On Saturday when I had it on the long arm. Yeah, that's the same one from that one. That's how it finished up. Isn't it pretty? Yep, yep, yep. That's a, just darling. Oh, super tractors. It turned out nice. I was really quite pleased with it. I'm like, hey, yay. <laughs> Because sometimes you get an idea in your head and like I don't I didn't we weren't doing the whole farm girl quilt pattern where there's the chickens in the barn and everything else. It was just tractors. So and when I said to her, do you want it? You know, here's a couple of different tractors. Which one do you like? She goes, oh, I can have more than one. I'm like, well, yeah, you can do whatever you like. So we would just kind of choose those two were her favorite. So I just went with those two. So. All right, let's put one of these together. Oh, I don't think I have any set. I didn't have any, I didn't cut any, um, oh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da the sashing between the rows. That's okay. I, I, we, we can just build them out. We don't have to put the sashing right now. But I like how they are flipped and flopped, how they, one goes one way and one goes the other. I like that. But you could put them all the same way if you wanted to. I mean, that is totally up to you. You can make one so it's wanky or, you know, one wanky one on either row or something. I don't know. Go crazy. All right, so spools, please. We'll need one for the top and one for the bottom. Okay, so here we go. One and two. And we need our two and a halfers. Do, do, do. All right. Yeah, if you would like a copy of this free pattern from Cloud9 Fabrics, it's exclamation spool in the chat. Exclamation spool. And I guess we pretty much do them all the same way. Right? It doesn't matter because no matter whether you're flipping or flopping, you'd have your top or your bottom, right? I think we're good. Where the tractor's in the no, they weren't in, a, in the book. That was a coloring book. Uh, that was free coloring pages online. That's, that's, what I, that's what I took them from. And then just um, heat and bonded the fabrics on top of each other and then zigzagged all the way around. No, just went to free. That's what I do for my elephants and stuff like that when I need to add a critter to a quilt. Uh, I just go to the free or black and white coloring book pages or, you know, um, tractor. I would have searched up tractor black and white, you know, uh, or coloring book tractors, something like that. Very easy, very easy searches. Where's my pencil? I don't know where my pencil went. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, now we need to mark from one side to the next. Okay. And when we sew on this line, hopefully will give us the equal piece on that side. Oh, it's free. It's free, right? Oh, totally, totally Bays. I thought of that too. And I thought, well, you know, I'll, I'll grab some pattern. I'll grab some plain and just make it kind of fun. So, and using, it's, you know, scrappy adventure. We're using our scraps. These are from leftover projects. So make sure I got American in the right directions here. Yes. We're gonna make ourselves a spool. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Well, it's free, right? Yeah, so use the free free uh, tools out there. You know, worst come to worst, you couldn't, you don't have the internet, go to the library. The library's got all sorts of fun things you could just, uh, you know, photocopy, and there's no copyright protection on any of the coloring book stuff, so. And you always make it a little bit different anyways. Right. All right. Sew those two together, or sew them, not necessarily together. <laughs> I'm trying to find a good for paper piecing. Is that it, Kelly? I thought I saw a couple on the free paper piecing. <laughs> no, 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 no bowel stream today. <laughs> No, it's all spools. Okay, I'm just 
stitch it right on the line that I marked. Okay. Maybe I'll pin that one there. Or applique. Oh, applique would be a nice one too, especially with batiks. Mm-hmm. You okay there, Lofi? What's going on? <laughs> you look a little weird. What's happening? Oops. What's happening? <laughs> you guys can't see her, but <laughs> it's all like belly in the air. Waving like she just don't care. Yeah, we were having trouble after we got the new cable for the over the shoulder camera and started the whole camera started being wonky on us. I'm like, oh my goodness. But it is like five years old. So it was what the, what the first, was the first cameras that we got. Small dresses as the tail part. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. You can make it more more elaborate than like a um, you know, than just one layer, right? If you add layers upon layers, it'll give that depth and detail and the big fluidity of the uh, the tail itself once it's once all the plumage is out, right? Because you want the a fluid of colors from the bottom of his um, tail. Well, it's actually I think it's their back. It's not actually their tail. Somebody Google that. See if I'm wrong. I think it's their back feathers and tail feathers, but not necessarily just tail feathers. Mm -hmm. Hello, Miss Nadine. I have to chat on my tablet and watch on my laptop. Can't find my chat. <laughs> I have lost the chat. Okay, now I wanna make sure I'm trimming, when I trim these, cut that off, I'm gonna fold that out. I'm gonna fold that out. Before, because I, if I if I can save myself from making a mistake now, I can save the square. If I cut it, then I've I've got two triangles I probably can't use. Okay, so if we do that and that, and then we put this one in here, which to a flatter piece, for Pete's sakes. So there we go there, and then we got these guys on either side. There we go. Okay, there's our first pool. Oh, nice. Oh, I like it. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, everybody? Ombre batiks would work. Ah, uh, yes, very much so, because they would have that transition of, of what of what you're going to need, right? Definitely. Mm -hmm. I so love and shot love the shot over your shoulder. I wish more tutorials would do that. Well, thank you, Caroline. I appreciate that. It's nice to hear. It's nice to hear something positive. Because sometimes, you know, you know, a lots of happy anniversary wishes, <laughs> which was lovely. Thank you, everybody, for wishing us a happy anniversary. That was lovely. We, we had a good day. We just kind of hung out. Hung out. It stayed cool because it was smoking hot. Oops, I think I got that on wrong. I do. Oh, did I put that? Oh, no, I didn't. Whew. Okay, could have been. Could have been one of those moments. And I would have been fine with that. And then because it's such, this is such a light fabric here, we're gonna try and wanna push those, that darker fabric into here when we go to press, because we don't really want it showing through. You know how you can see there? It's, you can barely see that it's over on the dark side, but if you were to have it pressed this way, you can really see that shadow, shadowed effect by the light there. I don't know if you can, but you can really see it. And especially when it gets quilted, you'd really be able to see it. So try and push, when you're doing all your pressing, try and push to the dark. Okay, you can always just do a finger press in the beginning to make sure. And then when you're uh, lining up your top and your bottom of your spools, you can always all make sure that you're pushing that fabric in. Okay, I think I'm confident that I can trim those off without feeling like a dork dork, I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. It's been a good week. It's been a good week here too. It went fast though. I mean, really almost too fast. Mm -hmm. okay. And of course these, I probably should have. 
so I could save them for another half square triangle project. Just on the flip. I just wanted to make sure though. I wanted to make sure before I uh, chopped off. That's one. Uh, what's it? It's going to be a hot day. Uh, same, actually. We're supposed to reach 106 by Friday. And we're supposed to be at 100, over 100 degrees Fahrenheit for like four days. It's supposed to be Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday uh, are supposed to be all over 100. And then 106 on the Friday. I was like, oh. I was out watering the garden at 8 this morning and it was already like 26 degrees, which was, I don't know, what is it, 80 or something your temp? It was like, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And even Sylvia, I was playing frisbee with her, sat on the bench. Because she, she won't play as I'm working in the garden. She's a weird dog. I try, I'm like, bring it here and I'll throw it as I'm watering because I'm just down in there watering. But she, she, wants, she wants my undivided attention. <laughs> I can't blame her. <laughs> so I was I sat on the, the bench that Munchkin made us a couple years ago and Pop and I for our anniversary present and uh, or Father's Day present, I can't remember. And um, <laughs> played frisbee with her and it was only like six or seven tosses and then she goes and lays in the grass in the shade. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, ours has been on for a while. Yeah, we had to. Oh, completely, Sarah Jean. Totally, a no lovely cover, a lovely bag to you know take to to meetings and stuff like that. I know, I know. Over a hundred would be 106 on Friday. I think we're a hundred. If you go look, look up. Uh, uh, she does not like the hose. No, she does not. She doesn't like water, and she doesn't like me in the water either. Like more than she doesn't like the water. She lets you know it. Um, it is pretty insane for our area. It really is. Yep, yep, it's, it's kind of rare. We don't usually get to the near 40s, 39s, 40s and stuff. Like even 35 is hot, hot here, and I can't be, imagine another five degrees on top of that. So, all right, so when pressing, did I get all the way there? I did. Uh, when pressing, like uh, this one's kind of light. You could just press open if you wanted to on those seams. I don't know what's gonna be easier. can kind of see it because it's only just the white on the white, you know, the, the, the two there. But let's, let's give those, uh, this one a little press here and then we'll finish off our first spool. Okay. So press into the dark. Press to the dark side. Press to the dark side. And then I'll try and press here too. Let's try and press towards the wood or the tan. And hopefully that goes okay. If we have to flip and flow, we shouldn't really have to because the seams are going separate directions or different directions, right? So shouldn't have to be too concerned. Okay. So when we get this set up, just like that, we try to want to make sure we're getting this almost right in the center because it should be more thread on it than the spool that we're seeing, right? That makes sense. So there we go. That looks pretty cool. First, first one. <clears throat> How big were those toasts that you did on the, uh, the last ones were, I think they were 19 by, 18, they turned out a pretty square-ish. Square-ish. They were a good size. So you could probably add, make four of these for one side and four of these for another, and uh, you'd have an awesome tote for, for just whatever, shopping. What kind of chair do you have? I'm... I, you'd have to ask Pop. He bought it. It's a higher chair. It's it's a it's it's a higher. It's like a bar stool. Mm. It's pretty cute, isn't it? I'm liking the colors. I'm liking the colors together. 
There we go, make sure I'm putting it the right way. Yes. I think we can probably just fit it and sew it. Oops, make sure we're pushing the seam the right way. And it's not like we're gonna have a lot of seams button up against each other, so. This is a good starter project too. You wanna to make yourself something like ex exactly what uh, Sarah Jean said, make, some, make a cover for your sewing machine. Mm -hmm. I make everything look so fun. Oh, well, thank you, Nancy. <laughs> Appreciate that. Here we go. Spool number one. And then they go like this and flip and flop on the quilt. <laughs> bar stool in a bar. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, next. All right, let's mark a few of these because that's what we can do right now. <laughs> so everything is okay with the mic. Nobody's having any issues. There's no scratching. It's okay on my collar. I've moved around a few times here and it's just clipped on here. I'm not, there's no wire. There's nothing on my pants. There's, so I just, we're just looking for, um, you know, we got, ooh, holy, almost 300 people here hanging out. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Aren't you partying? <laughs> I said, to, I said to Pop, it can't be so close to, to my heart. I said, they're going to hear my heart murmur. <laughs> they can't, they, they can't know about that. Well, what do you do now? <laughs> Mike, sounds good. Okay, perfect, perfect. I was a little concerned that it was going to rub or, or because I'm, um, you know, it's right next to my skin or something like that. Usually we've just clipped it to my shirt, right? The little Mikey bit. So just want to make sure. And it's not warm or anything and it's not irritating. So at least I say that now. <laughs> just, we just want to make sure. What that tannish fabric, really, it, it does really look like wood, doesn't it? It is amazing. It really is. It's beautiful. Um, Grace, one of the moderators of her channel, she brought it as a backing to one of the quilts, but then she found something I liked that I had here better, so we just swapped. We just swapped. So, and she was she was fine with that. Well, that's good. We're we were happy. We we're hoping the mics would be happy. So I picked them up from the post office yesterday, and I was like, oh yeah. Hopefully they they work okay. Only thumbs up if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. It would be nice pop up on other people's streams or feeds, but you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Like your seahorse, thank you very much. There's a whole video on that. Uh, it's also a weekend or a week, yeah, weekend live stream. I made a whole quilt. I made, cause the pattern was free. No, it wasn't free, was it? No, no, that was a 9.99 pattern. But that was one of the last year's, um, uh, quilts adventures and I made four for each member of the family it was going to So because once I realized the pattern only had three I thought well this family has four and they you know kids are cute and kids are adorable But they may think that you know somebody forgot them If they didn't be you know if I send them a three three seahorses on a quilt and there's four people in the family I don't know to me it just seemed to make sense so no scratchiness. Actually, thank you, Sandra. I appreciate that. Hello, Natalie from South Africa. We got your kind of weather today. <laughs> it is hot here. I know. Um, what can I say, Diane? Maybe some people just don't like me. Or they don't like what we got going on. Or they don't like my shirt. Or they don't like my Canadian attitude. <laughs> I've got no attitude. You've got attitude. No, i kidding. I'm just joking. Don't know hate mail. <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> Probably the attitude. Yeah, exactly. Right, Bob? <laughs> it's freezing here today? Oh, geez. Well, I, I'll, I'll trade you. <laughs> Usually it's freezing here. No, we're we're going to have 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I think we're at 90... 95 today or something like that. It'll be 95 here. And then uh, pretty much all next week we're at 100. 
<laughs> uh, Canadian attitudes are the best. Well, I don't know. <laughs> other Canadians don't like other Canadians. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Uh, very wet and windy here. 15 Celsius. Ooh, that's chilly. Brrr. I'm going to have to get myself a sweater. Uh, 60 degrees here in Oregon. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's nice. You love your attitude problem? So do I, Sass. <laughs> you don't have no problem. How's your car? I was so excited for you. Oh, my gosh, girlfriend. I'm like, that is some pimp and ride. <laughs> yes, and I said that. It is a nice ride. It looks like brand spanking new. <laughs> oh, thanks, Quinny, because 80 next week, hot 90. Oh, I can't believe we're going to be 106 on Friday. Yikes. Yikes, that's just so hot. All right, we got a few. We can, we can, we can sew some. We can sew some, some, some spooly woolies here. And it doesn't seem to matter if I'm going, uh, if I have to flip and flop them or anything, they're all the, the same. So I can just either put a pin in or just do sewing one side and sew some more on the other. Mm hmm. Uh, I never much cared before whether people like me or not. Now that I'm over 50, I care even less. <laughs> you take me or you leave me. Still happens every day for people. <laughs> Some people. Uh, 7 p.m. here. Best look forward to uh, look for something for dinner. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I'm surprised you're not. Tummy's not eyeing the toes. Drink. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely been drinking plenty of water. I think this is like number eight for me for today. So I've been drinking nothing but water for like two or three days. So the pop, uh, sorry, Munchkin went and got me some juice. So I think I'm going to go get me some of that. Eight years, 26,000 kilometers and just rolled off the showroom floor. I'm so nervous driving it. I had no idea what was going on. The whole family lied to me. <laughs> Sometimes they have to. <laughs> Sometimes they have to get things past you. They asked me not to tell you, so, you know, I just saying I followed my part of the whole prob, uh, the story, so, you know, yeah. They said, don't say anything on stream, Lord. I said, I won't, I promise, I'll keep your secret. <laughs> I would not ruin that fun. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 Janie, 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 Janie. Why you gotta be so cranky, little Janie? <sighs> Deep, calming breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. And in. <laughs> Hello, Penny. What's going on? I knew you were in on it. Pop two. I was down by liars. <laughs> uh, it's all for the good. It's all for the good. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so glad for you. And you said you've been driving the same wheels for, you know, 26, 27 years. I hear you. I'm 14 on the same one for me, and I'm getting a little, a little tired of her. And she's more, she's harder to get in and out of now. I'm, I'm getting older, right? So, not no, you know, young punk like I was before. <laughs> My daughter is named Janie, and I feel the same most. <laughs> 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 Your ride is 13. Oh, yeah, the, the Jeep's showing her age, though. She's, winters are rough up here. Her, her, her bottom's all rusted out. It's not rusted out, but it's got some, it, 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 yeah, it needs some loving. It needs some loving. 
you know, salt is hard, hard on vehicles, that's for sure. And I just went and spent a bunch of money on her because I blew the uh, hose, the power steering hose on it. I think I mentioned that last weekend. And someone suggested cat litter to help clean it up, so. Yes, unfortunately, Sass's uncle passed away, but there, he had an awesome car and the family decided it was best to go to Sass. And I thought that was just amazing. I was so happy for you. Mom, are you making the extra hats before you cut? I was, I was doing that. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do that. Oops, I cut it, well. Yeah, that way I get, I'll get a lot of half square triangles of this white and wood together. So I think that'll look nice. Uh, do you say you were recording? Yeah, 1080, yeah, Sarah Jean, yeah, 1080. Oh, make sure my, oh, oh no, we, we gotta go going the same way. They gotta both be coming in to make that point. Oops. Uh, Hello, Miss Pauline. Are you staying cool? Because you'd be about as hot as we are. Mm, yeah, 4K for videos and 1080 for streams. I'm sorry. 325, 330 people. Well, hello, hello. Happy uh, Independence Day to all the Americans. We are making a lovely little spool project and it is a free pattern. And if you go exclamation spool, you will get a copy of the free pattern. And it's only a one pager. We love one pagers, yay! <laughs> that way we don't get lost. <laughs> Because it's so easy to sometimes. Oh, well, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant, Tracy. I knew what you meant, yeah. The extra half squares. Yes, because that's it's, it's pretty much just like putting a binding on. You would want to keep that extra chunk. Because you can get, remember, I can get a one and a half by one and a half. And my awesome half square triangle bag. I love it. I'd show you, but it's full of booze bottles right now. <laughs> and you think I'm kidding. Nope. Uh, page, oh, no, oh, well, that is page two, but I meant like, you know, there's the image on the first page and then this is like, to me, it's a one page pattern. Sorry. Uh, that's what I meant. Like it's all on just the one page. That's just a picture. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Incorrectly worded. <laughs> Who, 27. Oh, that's, that's hot. Potty rake back. Okay. Just finished sewing on binding on a baby quilt and notice I didn't move my needle over more oops than, than the quarter inch off. Off to get rotary cutter and give it a trim. Job arc, uh oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh, make sure it's pointing in, yes it is. Yeah, lovely free pattern. Uh, thir uh, 2013 it was um, designed or at least that's when it was released and we like to share the free patterns around here for everybody I think you figured out the fuzziness is on my Xbox there is a three dot link and it lets you select the result oh so I didn't even realize we were on Xbox are we the gaming channel no, I'm kidding <laughs> I'm a gamer I didn't know it I'm a gamer I didn't know it 106 degrees here. I know we're going to be dip like that later next week. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I was actually going to give you a call on Monday, uh, Aunt B, unless you want to do a video chat via Facebook. I mean, we could do that too, because she won the quilt last week. She won the quilt top. I mean, if you want me, I can just send the top. If you don't want me to do anything with it, that's completely up to you. I mean, um, have you had any thoughts about thread or stitch up? Yeah, our post office is persnickety. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, what are you doing? You keep popping out. Why do you keep popping out? Come here, you. Why you gotta be a pain in the katushes, hey? Oh, Janie. You're causing me so much, Jessie. <laughs> uh, cold here. Hello, Miss Beverly. She's in Newfoundland. It's cold there. That's not good. It's hot here. I'll trade you. No, turn that the other way. Make sure they're going to the inside. The lines that I made on my ha the two and a half inch squares. Make sure they're pointing inwards. Okay. Come on, threads, really. Yes, that is it, Cynthia. And it's free and it's cute and you can do it any way you like. I even thought of if I was going to do it even more of a, a smaller, scrappier fashion. Here, sorry, I'll show up to this camera here. It was taking little squares of fabric within similar tones and making them kind of like all variegated spools. But I didn't, I didn't think that far ahead to try and pull all those. It would have taken me a while, probably a week, to pull all those fabrics out to do that. So, uh, but I thought that would have been nice. It'll have little squares. Could you, you could have done like three rows of squares or even just two rows of squares or something like that. And that would have been kind of fun to to play around with the color placement that way too right um, and like, you can even make this even as a mug rug or you know even a placemat or something like that or you know whatever just even as a nice little gift for somebody to hang in their sewing room or pillow uh, okay so that's that and that let's put the other one down you'll have to figure out what something to do with all those little half square triangles they're gonna be left over You saved the pattern to your drive. Good, good, good. Wouldn't it look awesome, Gwenny? I was thinking that as I was cutting the fabric. Oh, actually, 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 I was as I was um, um, laying it out to, to pick all the stuff. I'm like, oh well, you know, if we, if we did that. Hey, Bettina, happy you're here. We've got 355 people hanging out with us today. Well, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome. Happy you are here to join and hang out with us. Working on a free pattern, super cute. You can make it as big or as small as you like. Uh, it's got a little tiny sashing in here between the background fabric uh, to separate the spools. You could have them all sit the same way. You can flip them and flop them. It's, it's very fun. Hopefully it looks a little dark, but there, hold on. You can see that there, maybe better. Looks cute. I love a free pattern. Mm-hmm, I do, I do. Yeah, just something to um, break up maybe if you had all solids, you could kind of play it around with your, some of your bits of fabric, right? So I'm like, yeah, I don't know, little squares would be kind of cool too. Little tiny squares making up the spool. You know, light at the top, dark at the bottom, or just as it goes around, you know, making it all crazy or even like kind of spiraling it, depending on how many tiny squares you want to put in there. I mean, you could put some one and a halfers and, and really make it kind of, kind of cool. Probably get, wow. One, two, three, maybe four, five, maybe five of them across. That's that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Be creative. Think think outside the pattern, right? The patterns just help there to, to guide you on a on a free adventure. But the rest is up to you. Hello, Maureen. What's going on? Okay, we got what four, five. Okay, let's do our let's make a couple more and then we'll sew some more spools together. I have a few striped scraps that would look good with the pattern. I'll have to source more when pandemic is over. I gotcha. Oh, snoring, Sophie, can you see her? Oh, you can't. Her feet are in the air and she's snoring. <laughs> she's so cute. Uh, it is called 
Retro Spools quilt from Cloud9 Fabrics. And if you just go exclamation spool there, Betty, oh, Bettina, sorry, um, you will get a link to the free pattern. Just for you, let me share with you. I found it. I found it and I likes it and I share it with you guys. And there you go, Sass. Thanks, honey. Appreciate that. Do, do, do. Bacon beef stew and homemade bread in my bread machine. Oh, yummy. Mm -mm -mm. I've, I've tried to avoid anything in the oven for the past few days, and that's why I was kind of wanting just to do stuff on the stove top today for, for dinner, since I had, I had a craving for spaghetti. And of course, we make our homemade sauce because I'm allergic to bell peppers. So uh, we make homemade, homemade sauce all the time. Mm. Do a genie, gonna pop you in the nose. Gonna pop you in the nose. Aw, thanks, Diane, 57. <laughs> I appreciate being so encouraging, I'm trying to get people. Do, 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 do. Uh, how about applicating a cute something on the, oh, totally, you could do whatever. I actually grabbed a couple of patterns here that I, don't, I didn't think why they would look bad. Here, I'll show them up to the small camera so you can see them. I think they would still look cute. It's got flowers on it. I still think that would make a lovely little thread. And you know, it's whatever I want, right? No, they're not, are they? Well, at least the sewing machine gods are not. <laughs> so we'll, we'll sew this one here and then I'm gonna go get myself some juice. So oh, be a moment. Are you gonna be a, you are gonna be. Mm. I have to go enjoy the, you too, stay in the coalition. Yeah, you too, you too, Miss Nadine. Thank you, happy, happy Independence Day for all you Americanos. Happy Independence Day. Deviled pineapple. Oh, I heard of deviled eggs before, but never deviled pineapple. I don't know about that. All right, okay. <laughs> Pineapple wins. All right, okay, I'm gonna go get myself some juice. I'll be right back. Oh, 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 oh. Lurking as usual, feeling my extra year older today. Uh, to, oh, did you have a birthday this June? Oops, Pat's earlier. Did, did we miss singing happy birthday to you, June? Problem with my cat and fireworks. 
Uh, what, the, your cat doesn't like fireworks? I never used to bother Mr. Clive, and Sophie could care less. I said the only time I think she actually came into, um, into our room was one night. It was a huge, huge thunderstorm and if I, like lightning, and and it and struck uh, the lightning struck a tree um, two house, two houses down. So and she came in when it um, clamored. So cut hard boiled eggs, length eggs, mix the yolks with a cup of crushed pineapple vinegar and salt. Pile this mixture in the egg, serve and lettuce with mayo. Note this recipe was from the antique poly prim recipe tin bought <laughs> state sale years ago. I note at the bottom says it was taken from a magazine. This is from recipeland.com. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. I'm not sure I can just see those two flavors together of egg and pineapple. I don't know. I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around that one. Mm -hmm. Terrified if I were, oh, well, that's sorry to hear that, Vanessa. Yeah, because they don't understand, right? That's why I don't, I don't know where Sophie was the six months we, before we got her, but maybe they had, you know, people who, you know, fireworked all the time, or I don't know, but she didn't seem to, didn't really matter. Of course, we didn't have, our first set of fireworks until she was, we almost had it for about seven months, right? Because that would have been, you know, Canada Day or some sort of holiday. He's a rescue, yeah. And it's hard, you don't know. That was like when we rescued our German Shepherd from the Southeastern Pennsylvania German Shepherd Rescue um, in 1999. She was two and a half and you can tell she was abused. She was kept in a cement garage. She didn't know what grass was. She had all sorts of sores and paws down here. She was covered in green paint, um, you know, and it was just, and she was just a, not, she, she was, you know, she's a big dog. Um, you know, and she was, she was strong. Happy birthday, June. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Miss June. Happy birthday to you. Your package went out yesterday and I had to send it surface. Sorry, it's gonna be a while to get there. But you'll get it, I promise. I have a tracking number too. Thank you, Anonymous. Appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, make sure they're pointing in. Make sure they're pointing in. All right, let's do one here and then we'll add our, our threads colors. Okay. <laughs> Bless you too, June. Bless you too. Am I doing the throngs? All right, okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Sue and Bob, our dog Odie is a rescue and he is very afraid of any loud noises. We can't even drag him out to go. To the oh, he's just, he's like not happening at all. Something must, it makes you wonder what traumatized them at first. Anyways, our, our German Shepherd, she, uh, she didn't like men. She did not like men. She, she tolerated pop for maybe almost two years before she actually really let him like walk her, feed her, pet her, rubber belly, anything like that. She stuck to me like glue. She was definitely mine and Munchkin's dog. And she was so protective of Munchkin. He was only four when we got her at that point in time. So he, she was, she was right on like, you know, you're my, you're my little pup now sort of thing. And uh, yeah, she was very protective of him. So, but it took a while, but as soon as she opened up to, to pop and to know that, you know, he wasn't ever going to hurt her, um, she, she became a whole different dog. It's just a matter of patience to get there though. And I know sometimes it's hard and they don't understand what's going on, especially when you, they just been up and moved, you know? So, all right, let's get some of these. This seems to need to be pressed and let's press these and press this one. Okay. So let's, now that we had that in its finished state, that's number one. And we know what we're doing now and it looks good. Okay. 
Now some of these are a little wrinkled up on the edges. We want to make sure we've got a nice square five and a half by five and a half to start off with our thread. This is what we're supposed to be our thread colors. See that one's not too bad. It's a little bit variegated. It's got some light pinks and dark pinks in it. I thought that might look okay. Okay, let's put those there. Let's flatten these out. We're going to try and press so we're keeping the darks to the inside where the wood, the wood grain is. Just a little patience and we can make ourselves a lovely quilt. Yeah, free pattern. I love free patterns. Nothing better than a free pattern. And like I say, you can, you don't have to do it the same way. I'm not doing it. I'm having um, uh, the same spool colors are all the same. This has a mix. It's beautiful. I like because they use the little scissor fabric. I thought that's adorable. But I didn't have enough sewing themed fabrics. I thought about using whatever fabric I had as for spools, but it's not really spooly type material. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's got schoolhouses and stuff on some of it and on the sewing fabric. And I'm like, eh. I'll just pick my colors and hopefully it'll be pretty enough. And if it turns out lovely enough, it'll be up for sale. And here's hoping. And I thought of making it a bit bigger, maybe one more row, uh, long and one more high. Uh, you know, it's up for, up for me to play with. I got the materials here, so. All right. <laughs> mm, let's cut it up for spools. Think of, what, what, what? Cut what up? <laughs> and 10 inch wool. Oh, see, I haven't tried one of those yet, Teresa. I'll distract her and you cut. <laughs> Who's cutting what here? <laughs> Your catitude quilt? That sounds kind of cool. All right, so there's one. Uh, let's see if we stretch some. You can actually see it here. There we go. Let's make another one here. Got our top and our bottoms. Okay. Keep these guys on the side. Oh, my irony board cover. <laughs> Don't cut it up. <laughs> I got I got a bolt of the fabric. <laughs> right side or wrong side? <laughs> I think it's all safe. I was watching you, Sneakies. <laughs> Nothing to do with pop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somehow, don't believe. <laughs> oh. I think a nice rainbow. You know, you're doing red all the way down to purple would be kind of cute as a wall hanging. Like you say, you don't have to do it as many as there is here. You could just do like nine across or 12 across, or 12, you know, not necessarily across, but you know what I meant. So soft and comfortable, wonderful, wonderful. That's good to know. Team cheese. I always burst in people's bubble. <laughs> okay. uh, great thread first one. It actually kind of would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Had that variegated uh, goldy look to it too, right? Golden green thread. Team chocolate. <laughs> team, 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 team. <laughs> 
Team Chocolate. Yeah, I, every time I go out wearing a Team T-shirt, I go, oh, that's nice, sir. Where'd you get it? I'm like, well, <laughs> you can have one, too. Just follow the link below. <laughs> Follow the link below, follow the link below. Click here, click there, follow the link below. Yeah, some do, some don't. Like some some don't bother. Like Sophie, like I said, Sophie could really care less. She doesn't really matter. She's getting funny though in her old age. She she tells Pop and I like when we need to go to bed because she's got a bed in our room and so we've been telling her lately just go 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 lay down if you want to go lay down. So we'll find her there randomly during the day. I'll go where's the dog? I can't find her. She's not on either bed. Not you know not on the bed. Not on the chair. Not in, you know laying on the floor. And she's in the bedroom sleeping on her bed. I'm like okay old lady having a nap. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> And the other day, she pushed the door open because Pop went to go lay down and read while Munchkin was working on the video. <laughs> and she went to go lay. I'm like, she was just here. So I go, and the door was only open so tiny, so I didn't think she'd pushed it open, but she did. She just pushed it open just enough for her to go in and lay down. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's one scary pineapple. <laughs> it's going to get you. Pineapple's gonna get you. <laughs> Egg and pineapple. I, 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 you know, I don't know. I just can't uh, see uh, the that that uh, you know. I don't know. I just, I just can't. I don't know. Because it's one of those things I'll have to try. I'll give the recipe to my friend and say, hey, make this. <laughs> Tell me what you think. <laughs> yeah, it is quiet in the bedroom, too. <laughs> it definitely is quiet. It's dark in there, and it's nice and cool. So <laughs> she had the right idea. I just was like, well, where'd she go? Because, you know, we would just come in from outside or something. And then usually she'd lay on the floor or stay close to me. But lately she's just she's going in the bedroom, going to lay down on her bed. I think in some ways she's still missing the cat. I think she still looks for him every now and again, especially in the yard. She always does her little trotting around to go figure out, you know, where his most common places were. Maybe scratch the cedar logs or whatever. Turkish delight. Is that like a taffy or like a caramel sort of thing? I remember. It's like a, I think it's chewy, isn't it? Or am I thinking something else? Turkish delight. Stretch recipes? Probably, Lena. Probably. You're going to try today? Okay, you got to let us know, Allison. You really got to let us know. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I have purchased that in Italy. Turkish Delights. Is that it? Seems like it's a chewy thing, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, 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 everyone. Uh, I panic when I can't find my dog, Molly. My neighbor kicked her in the stomach a couple of months ago and she had blood in her stools for a week. <gasps> what? I'm not going to say anything because it usually gets me into trouble. So, mama, nama, nama, going to bite my tongue. Nama, 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 going to bite my tongue. Nama, 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 going to bite my tongue. <laughs> going to get me in trouble. Yeah, what the? Mm-hmm, Batman. What the? That's when I'd be getting all my kung fu fighting moves in order. 
want to want to pick on a, somebody your own size, twiddle twit, come here. I'll give you the what for and the who done it and the wow wow. I know how cruel, right? Never, never ever raise a hand to a dog, an animal, cat, anybody, anybody. What's it gonna get you in life? Do I feel like a bully? Is it some sort of an achievement? Seriously. And I feel bad when I have to restrain Sophie like from running outside like a holder or something like that. And then she feels, you know, I could get this little shaking from her. But I'm like, okay, listen, the, you know, I, the door needs to stay open and you can't go outside because there's a truck backing up or something, you know, like, come on, puppers. All right, let's iron these guys and then we'll attach our um, spool tops. Spool. <laughs> SP. <laughs> Looks like that one's a little long, so I'll have to trim that. Warm by this iron. Do, 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 do. Pretty colors there. I think they look nice, nice together, like in the whole spread of the quilt. There we go. Okay. Uh, I know. Why would anyone, right, Sue? Uh, it is really warm here today, Maureen. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the temperature is right now, but it did say it was going to be by 96 this afternoon, Fahrenheit. 96 Fahrenheit. <laughs> All right, now for our spools. So it's a little trimming on the top here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm supposed to have some record heat here uh, for the next week there, Maureen. It's going to be smoking hot. Can probably cook eggs on the sidewalk. Hello, Rowena. Happy you're here. We're just working on a beautiful, fun project. Exclamation spool if you want to join in. <laughs> what what? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused now, Sass. <laughs> now I'm confused. <laughs> Is he playing with your emotions? <laughs> <laughs> Oops, flip that way. with us. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hello, everybody. 
Louie Lou, happy you're here. <laughs> the Looney Toonie has, has arrived. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with us today. It's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. Anybody got any questions? Anybody got anything to news to tell? Uh, it is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, exclamation uh, spool. There you go. Isn't that cool? Free one. Uh, um, oh, that's a good question. Um, was it patina? I'm not sure. Was it? Who was it that said about the offered up the idea of pineapple devil, the deviled pineapple, please? Allison has a question for you all. Mm, it was June. Okay, it was June. There we go. Mm-hmm. Of course, of course you can. It's only, uh, the pattern says right there for the dimensions is 41 by 50, but I can't see why you just can't add another row on the bottom and the top and just, or just keep plugging away as many rows as you would like. I mean, it seems pretty flexible. As long as you got the sashing to go in between each one, you're, I think you're good to go. And you use your two and a half inch around the outside. <laughs> no, it turns out weird. <laughs> Remember, it wasn't our suggestion. Lap quilt. Uh, oh, okay. For a lap quilt, I'd probably go, uh, I don't know, maybe 40 by 50 or 55 for a lap and for a couch. 50 up, like 50 to 60 by the same amount, I would say. Sorry, there we go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna skedaddle and cool in the pool. Very nice, catch you and replay when I listen. All right, take care, enjoy, enjoy your pool adventures. Staying cool in the pool. Exactly, have a good swim, have a good swim for us. <laughs> It could be great as a quilt as you go. That's right. Yeah, very much so. That's a good, a good point. Good point there. Very much could be a quilt as you go. Because that little sashing in between would help. Um, help uh, break up any dividedness looking from each, uh, each square to square. So, good, good, good. I, I think it would make a lovely little wall hanging for a, you know, a, a sewer or like even someone had suggested a um, sewing machine cover. Totally could. You could do four as a little wall hanging. Yeah, there's lots. Lots, lots, lots. Of. Yeah, that would be, to me, it would be a good size uh, throw. Because uh, you want to be able, like if it's a lap quilt, you want to be able to cover your whole lap and your toes, like down to your toes, right? So it doesn't have to go all the way up to your chin. That's more of the throw. Lap quilt really should just be a little bit higher than your lap, like maybe mid belly button down to your toes. You know, throws are the ones you sleep under, you have a nap under, or, or the other quilts for the bed, you know. So it's just one for the couch. Okay, there we go. It's another pretty color, it's like the first one. We'll press all those out later. I'm gonna have to make some more spools. Spooly woolies. Some of my whites are a little long in the tooth, so I don't know whether that was just my inaccurate cutting or what? I found your pineapple quilt pattern. <laughs> You're new to sewing. Do you have any questions there, Kristen? Miss Kristen Fisher. We got like 400 knowledgeable people hanging out in this channel. I'm, or they, either they e have an answer or would like to know the answer or never even thought of the question and now are waiting with bated breath, so. <laughs> Mm. 
Uh, oh, really? Ooh, that's nice to know, Kathleen. I'm gonna have to try and remember that name. What is it, Stash Bandit Quilting? Okay, because I would like to do a nice big pineapple. What can I do with stripes? Well, you can make log cabins, you can make rail fences, you can, oh, with stripes. Oh, stripes material or just strips? And those strips, sisters, stripes, uh, okay, strips and stripes is the same word that looks very similar to me. So, starting the boiling eggs, <laughs> <I> started boiling eggs. <laughs> I can't wait, Allison. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Welcome to a wonderful journey. Very nice. Striped material. Okay, striped, not stripped. Striped. Hmm, that's an interesting one. Because I've got a bolt of striped fabric here that I've just used as uh, binding and backing. Hmm. Binding, yes. Yeah, definitely. You could definitely use it for binding. Yeah. Um, what's this? Aunt B, I'm so sorry. You may be able to sensitize her. Oh. Oh, okay, for the dogs and anxiety. That's a good idea. Borders and sashing. Yeah, there we go. Pop. I love deviled eggs. I like making home deviled eggs. They, they never last long, though. That's for sure. They never, never last long. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> you certainly don't want them getting all hard and crusty in the fridge. Yeah, I like striped binding. It's very fun. It's it's interesting. It adds such a, a twisty uh, motion to it on the on the other other side, right? Everything okay? Oh, just sounded like you were getting up in a hurry. Yeah, borders, borders, you gotta line up those stripes though. Make sure they're going, um, you know, the ways you want them to go. So you may have to uh, chalk mark first and then cut just to make sure you're doing it on the right angle. That's a good idea, striped fabric. Why not? Yeah, yeah, why not there, Kristen? Why not? There's no really rules or regulations when it comes to quilting. You can just do whatever you darn well like. You are the creative person, and that's how new patterns are made, and that's how new colors are put together, and that's how you come up with pineapple deviled eggs. Just saying. Mm hmm it can be a half a square, you know, you're making a solid with one side and using the stripes as an, the other side of the square, like a half square triangle sort of thing. You could probably line them up so they, they, they the um, stripes themselves we could probably make a secondary pattern. You know? Yeah, sort of like a pinwheel, yeah, there we go. Oh, Janie, here's just some me out, oh, Janie. I'm gonna throw you out, oh, Janie. No, I'm not. <laughs> Never. I'm just gonna do that, actually. Would you grab me the oil on the long, uh, the far side of the long arm? It's by the Joe Marie's um, quilt shop um, tree, um, birdhouse. I'm just going to do a little here and do a little there. I would love a Q-tip. Not for my ear. Uh-uh-uh. Probably also needs to go in for some. I would probably think so. I just didn't want to take 12 months to get it back. So. <laughs> So what I like to do, because there's fluffies down in here, I like to put a little drop of oil on the end of my Q-tip. Okay. Just get a little moisties. Just a little. Okay. Just a little. Okay. And then just go in gently. Kind of pull all that out. And you can pull it off from the Q-tip. 
the collective dust that gets in there. It helps just kind of stick to the Q-tip. So I'm gonna get in here, get around that little circle thingy, get all your little bits and blobbies up. Okay, give it some, give it some loving, some tender loving. Okay. Come in with the clean side and just clean up anything else. Make sure you're not rubbing too hard and leaving any bits of uh, Q-tip behind, okay? Be gentle, be gentle. You paid a lot for the machine, don't abuse it. And do drop right down here in the center circle. Squeeze my bottle so the air gets back in. Make sure my undercarriage is all cleaned out. Even in here, sometimes you can use your little Q-tip in here as well. Okay. I'm full of hot air, so I'm not too worried about the, you know, <laughs> the moisture level. <laughs> okay. Here, pop that back in. Grab my bibbity bobbin. Get that back in place. Rethread. Make sure this is correct. And we should be all good to go. There we go. What is an EPP? Oh, that is an English paper piecing. And a lot of it has to do with like flowers, hexagons, odd shapes, uh, parallelograms, rhombuses, those, those sorts of things. And you'll use a paper as a base, folding your fabric over the paper, pressing it to get it a memory, removing the paper either after or before stitching to keep to hold that position and you're just going to take those those um that fabric that's folded over that fabric not the front of the fabric and using that to put all together we did a little um um hexagon project with the english paper piecing and i, I actually I, I i thought you know at first i'm like ah oh, it's gonna be like forever but it really wasn't and it was actually really kind of fun and now i'm actually going to take some of the scraps that i've had here for probably four or five years i'm actually going to put them through the hexi cutter and i'm going to make a like a bigger project like a bigger it's all going to be hand stitched i'm going to hand stitch the he hexes and i'm going to hand stitch the hexes together and then i'll probably either hand stitch it as a final quilt or probably quilted on the long arm. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Mm -mm. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. There we go. Come on, Jeannie. Gotta work for me now. Be a good girl. What's August 12th? What did I miss? Now you don't have to do this extra step as what I'm doing and I'm just trying to get an extra half square triangle out of this project. Because you are only sewing from this corner uh, on the diagonal to this corner, you actually technically have all this bit of fabric left over. So you can throw out that triangle of fabric and that triangle of fabric or you can sew them again uh, a little bit over and be able to cut and then you end up with piles and piles of half square triangles that you can square up to one and a half to one and a half and make yourself a lovely little project. I made a beautiful bag, a beautiful bag. I'm so pleased with it. It took some time, it took some tweaking, I wasn't quite happy with it at first and then, you know, you just gotta, you know, persevere and keep keep your chin up and and know that this is you know you're fine with putting in the extra work if that's what's needed hello sammy d papers on until after you have sewn all the sides around the shape i personally leave all the papers in until i'm done with the okay that's good a good note some people do some people don't that's why i said you know you could leave it if you wanted to you don't have to it, it's going to be a fun little adventure for you so enjoy 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 and keep us up to date. Come back and hey, tell us what's what's going on, what you're working on. Mm -hmm. I don't like violence either there. I really don't. I'm happy-go-lucky. I'd rather hug than fight. Oh, 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 oh. That was getting down there. <laughs> I 
I wouldn't expect anything less, ass. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. <laughs> Hello, Miss Bernadette. How's Dublin today? We are melting here in Canada. <laughs> and you think I'm kidding? I'm not. <laughs> All I have to say is thank goodness for air conditioning. Thank goodness. We wouldn't be able to stream because the systems would get too hot. So but it would just be way too hot in here. It's too hot in here. The systems will not work. <laughs> Working on my five and dime. Very nice. We just learned about that. Well, not we, but you know, me is in the royal me. Uh, we um, just learned about that just a couple weeks ago. A five and dime. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Da, da, da. Uh, oh, oh, wonderful. I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that comment there, Pop. Mm-hmm. Freezing here, nice big frost every morning. <laughs> the royal. <laughs> hey, no, I said the royal we, I meant to say, not the royal me. Thank you very much, Punk. <laughs> Pop's causing trouble. <laughs> Sun is out and balmy. Oh, nice, that's nice. We need hugs, not fights, that's for sure. Maybe we should do that to the people who want to fight, give them hugs. I don't know, it'd be kind of dangerous. <laughs> Let's see if they're packing first, you know, and then, and then, and then we'll go. <laughs> baby steps, baby steps, Lena. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. Yeah, I, 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 I went more like push away than anything else to try to defend, but, you know, I don't think I'd ever kick a dog. You know, I was attacked by a cat, and I never even hurt the cat. So, like... You know, the cat was hanging off my arm. I've got fang bites here and here and scars down both uh, both sides of my arm from the cat trying to get away. But he was he was the one who was attacking me. I wasn't attacking it, so. So still I can't I can't imagine hurting an animal, even even that, you know, even, even the cat that attacked me and bit me. Uh, out at the moment, it's hot here too, but not as hot as, oh, geez, PJ. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do we need? One, two, four, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. All right, let's finish these guys off. What time are we at? Almost three? Is it really almost three? Oh, geez. Why does the day go by so fast? Why, peoples? Why? Why did it go by so fast? It's like we just, just got started. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Six. How lovely. Hope all of our American friends are having a fantastic 4th of July so far. Depending on where you are, it's just started or it's just it's mid-afternoon and you're having a getting ready for the boobacoo. Boobacoo. Nothing better than a boobacoo. Do. Why do you slip out? I have a question for Nomi's, Janomi's. Why, why does Janie slip out of this hook? Even though she's in there, I don't know how she slips out, but she does. And it's annoying. Tomato pie for the 4th of July. Mm, mm, mm. That sounds good, tomato pie. Tomato pie for the 4th of July. I know not everything is a song, but everything can be made into a song. Just so you know. <laughs> Don't you think it won't? <laughs> yeah, it does it? Oh, so annoying, Amy. Pops out. 
It's like, why? And I'm not going fast. You see, I'm not, I'm not like lead foot Larry in it. You know, I'm not pedaling the metal. I'm starting okay. Because I thought maybe that was what I was doing. I was being too antsy pantsy. Changing the speed. Spool, change the spool. Uh, well, it is. Yeah, I guess I could. I don't know if I have any other grays. You are just, mmm. Uh, maple leaf orange quilt. Maple leaf orange quilt. Well, we, we just did a may, maple leaf mayhem. That's that's was the. I guess it's kind of orange. I guess. Come on, you. I know, I, I was checking the bottom and I've reset it and it's fine. It's just, it's being a dork. Some days I'll have no issues the whole day, like 11 hours straight, 11 hours straight. Uh, oh, the one behind me. Oh, over there? No, I don't, that was before we did videos. I was well before we did videos. I didn't even know I was gonna be doing videos. <laughs> Oops, how did you get over there? Okay, now you're really somewhere strange. Hello? Make sure it's going in the right direction. The wee tail of my bobbin thread gets the sensor confused. Maybe that's what's going on. My poor long armor, the mixed cottons and fatigues. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's like, oh, the, and it, it won't ever stitch evenly on a quilt if you're using mixed fabrics like that, right? So. Has nothing to do with tension. Oh, sorry, I thought you said tension. It should be right in the little crevice because I've locked it in there. She was, she was busy all week. <laughs> well, except for, except for Wednesday. Wednesday was, was off day. All right, let's finish up these last little ones that we've made here. Okay. Let's get my little trimmer out. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. It's a game of patience when it comes to sewing. It, it, it pretty much is. It's auto tensioned. It just slips out of that hoop though. And, I, and I've, I've seen it, I can watch it do it. And I'm like, how do you slip out when you've pretty much locked you in? It might, it might, it could be very well this thread but I'd like to use the last of it because it's one of the long arm threads, uh, cotton threads, the cotton polyester mix threads that I, the long arm hates. So I'd rather use it to put st uh, stitch stuff together with, so. <laughs> Funny you say that, Sass. <laughs> My alarm went off this morning at seven and I was already awake. I had my headset on and Pop was reading in bed and he says, hey, you got an alarm going off? And I, I barely heard him. All I heard was an alarm. And then 
I took my headset. I'm like, oh, and they're like, oh, right, that's from last week to make sure I was up. But not that I was never going to be, anyways. Like, come on now. <laughs> I'm always up at oh dark thirty when we stream. All right, let's press these and finish off these little blocks. <laughs> Oops, I was pressing them the wrong way. Dork. Whew, it's warm. Be happy when I get to turn this iron off. It's almost too warm to iron today. I'll be glad this will be almost the last of the pressing. We'll press the last of the, uh, or the spools that we get done. But whoo wee, warm air, warmer, warmer, warm. And a wood wore a tank top, but that's just too many chicken wings or too much chicken wing to see. So no, I won't wear a tank top. <laughs> too much chicken wing. Nobody needs to see that much chicken wing. Other way. <laughs> okay, all the pieces are going the right way. Good, good, good. Wonderful. Do, do, do. Oh, okay. Back here. Back to the table. Oh, look at all those. Look at all these half square triangles we have now to play. We're not even done the quilt yet. I have to make something up to go with these now. Belgian waffles. Yes, please. Sold. <laughs> Sold, right, Sophie? Hi. Would you got a little deal, Abby? A little deal, Abby? Hello, babies. My nose. Hey. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> mm -mm, I'd take that for sure. I Maybe mean, that's what we'll have <laughs> tomorrow. Okay, let's finish this one off. <laughs> Trying to get close to your camera? <laughs> I see you. Can you see that face? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I see you. What you doing? <laughs> You're so cute, Sophie. Oh my gosh. Too cute. You're just a riot, puppers. To do. Oh, big yawn. Keeping you up? <laughs> um, next Saturday is the um, celebration of my mom's life in Calgary. Uh, I will not be there, obviously, physically. But um, I'm going to try and be there as a presence of uh, video, um, video chatting with people. So our stream time may have to change next week. So please watch at the website and the web page for any announcement. Um, I forgot to look before we started today to find out exactly the time. And because they're two hours ahead in Calgary, um, I want to make sure that I am completely available for that time. So it, the stream time may be earlier or later, but I, we will definitely be letting you know if you don't hear from us and it's the same bad time, same bad channel sort of situation, okay? So just duly note, there might be a time change for next week's stream, okay?
and I'm sure hopefully nobody it will be upset about it because that's just the way life is take the ups and the downs the ins the outs so and this is important to me so thank you Sue Smith, happy you're here. <sighs> Thank you, Sammy. didn't make enough. Uh oh, that's okay. We'll finish it off with what we have here. Then we'll press them and we'll lace them out. Mind the little uh, sashing that's not going to be there, but I think it'll still look really nice if we just kind of lay them out a bit. Okay. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Allison. Thank you so much. We're getting closer and closer to that uh, that uh, that goal for for July to get that 12 hour stream in July. We're getting closer. Thank you, Sass. Appreciate it. Thank you, Linda. I'm okay, Diane. Just still miss my mom. I'll get over it or not. <laughs> It'll just get a little easier, I'm sure. Disappointed it won't be there. <sighs> Sorry. Such a blubber face. All right, let's press these. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Sorry. over three months, but it feels like yesterday. I really like these guys though, these flowers here. I think that, I think they look pretty. really nice together once they get all done and we're placing them um, properly. You need 40. You need 40 uh, pieces of this color. You can do them all the same. I think that doing them different would definitely be more fun though, for sure. All right. Sorry. All right, now let's lay some of these out so we can see what they're gonna look like. These ones I still have yet to cut. So we'll put those guys over there. Put these here. There we go. You can even just butt them up together if you wanted to. I, don't know, I think that needs that little separation of the sashing, though. I really do. Okay. There. Maybe like oh, here. 
because you'd want to do the opposite that was on that side, right? Here. There. There. And there. Isn't that kind of nice? That looks okay. <clears throat> That's nice. This is the day off for you. That's very nice. You're not at work. Are they roses? Uh, I don't know. Are you talking about this one here? Let me show you the uh, the iron camera. You can see whether you think they're maybe. I don't think they're roses. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of more like a. Um, I don't know. Maybe like a little sunflower. Ish, maybe. I don't know. Can I see it? It's cute. It's got some paisley stuffs on it, so it's really kind of cute. Isn't that cute? Very nice. Delilah? Okay, there we go. It's a Delilah. There we go. Looks like a Delilah. So that's what we got going on so far. So that's eight of what? 40? Eight of 40. That's not bad. Not bad start. Considering we had pretty much all the crying, I'm uh, crying, all the cutting to do. <laughs> I saw the word crying. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. Yeah, free project sheet, uh, retro spools quilt, uh, cloud nine fabrics, exclamation spool. If you would like to come and sew along with us, that would be very fun. And it's, uh, I call it a one pager. So that's just the picture. And this is all the instructions or destructions that are on the one page. And I like that. Far less confusions. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we're gonna continue working on this next week. And uh, maybe we'll get some sashings on and start building out some rows. Yeah, I think so. All the problems start on page two, exactly. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. I don't know whose fabric it is. I got it as part of a um, shopping for some tractor stuff. <laughs> no, I have another road to sew. Don't go. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was a total late six hours in the car. Oh, geez. Oh, my gosh. That's a long time in a car. Love Scrappy. I do, too. I do, too. Uh, we haven't reached the goal yet, so it can't be decided yet there, uh, Linda. We haven't reached the goal. So no decision needs to be made because no goal has been met. Uh, sun rescued last night, parent birds found their little one. And, oh, very nice. Oh, that's super nice, Deborah. That's good news, that's good news. Anybody have any questions about this project? Any at all? Do, 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 do. I will give you time to type it, to get to the computer and type it, or get to your tablet and type it. But yes, it's looking really nice. I'm liking these guys. And it goes, what is it, five? Oh no, it's four. So it'd be four, four by six. Yeah, four by six. But you can go like five by seven. You can do whatever you like. Oh, thank you, Teresa, big hugs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, can you have it when it's done? I don't know. <laughs> I notified when you go live so no biggie okay well that's good that's good question about the project t does sas get it when you're <laughs> i'm asking for a friend <laughs> it's the same uh that i'm using for the uh background fabric it's the same it'll just blend right in i just didn't cut it yet that's all elizabeth thank you diane we love you too thanks dude very much sorry you didn't get your margarita I tried. <laughs> mm, thank you, Kathleen. I think it looks pretty good. It's a good start of some uh, pinks and purpley colors of my uh, little spool. Spool wall hanging. No green involved. Well, no, that's not even green. I'd say that was gray. Block size. Oh, good question there, Allison. Very good question. That ends up being a nine and a half or by a nine and a half or. That's a good size. That's a very good size. And I like it that they're flipped and flopped. I like it that they go this and that, yes. But you could definitely put them all the same way. Or you could have one that was just 
a little wanky or wonky, whatever. Yeah, I totally, totally be cool. Yeah. They are really kind of cute, aren't they, Ann? I'm, I'm loving them. I'm loving them. I really like the wood. I, I wasn't sure it was going to work, and I thought I might have had to change out a color, like maybe just make a plain tan or something, but I really like this. I have to go pick up your pineapple pizza. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, putting on uh, my pudding borders on them. No, not on them, but on, there's going to be a sashing in between, which is, it's a small one. It's not a very big one. It is only one and a half by the nine and a half, of course, uh, to go in between. And then there's a two and a half inch border, but we can bulk that out a little bit more, you know, that sort of thing. So I like the flip and flop too there, Becky. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I love the wood spools and them sitting up and maybe one or two. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Kind of, you don't have to be, all be the same way, right? You can, you can mix and match and have some fun. Definitely. The pattern is just there as like a, um, uh, an idea for you to get in the cuts you need to get from A to B, but you can add all the colors that you want in between. So you can have, oh, thank you, Zella. Uh, you, you can have a black, you can have gray, you can have mix, like the, even the pattern says, it's got like greens and reds and everything else on this one, and blues and blacks, uh, but it's all scissor fabric. So I think spool fabric would have been kind of cool to have as the spool, um, but yeah, yeah, no, it'll, it'll all be good, it'll all be good. All right, so if that is that, we will see you guys on Wednesday, the Long Arm Wednesday show, and then Friday, the weekend project, and then back at this on Saturday, and we'll make some more progress, put some rows together and stuff. How's that? Layer cake would be really good. Yeah, because it's five and a half by five and a half, and you'd have strips left over for another project too, for sure. Or you could use some as the thread and some as the spool uh, down further down. You could totally do that too. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be too beautiful. Thanks, you, Marlena. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend, you too, Barbara. Happy uh, Independence Day to all our Americans. Have a great, fantastic day. May the peace and freedom be with you. Big hugs from us, your northern snowy friends. But not today, because it is hot. <laughs> Big hugs. Have a great birthday, Pat. Enjoy. Big hugs, everybody. And we will see you very soon. Free pattern, exclamation spool. Okay. Enjoy the day, everybody. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Free now.